Today we're going to be talking about how to add text to three different objects. We have to do this three different ways. Uh, can't wait to show you how, figured out how to do, uh, add some text to an object that really is got some dimension and depth to it. So let's jump right into it. And we have our cube, our little awkward shape here and a sphere. We're gonna start by adding text to our cube. Um, so for this, we're just going to create a new sketch. We're actually gonna do it on the face of this cube hit create, come down to text, and I'm gonna to choose to create this, the entire size of this box. And I'm gonna simply type in BA3D. My text currently, I have it set to Arial Black, uh, 20 millimeters, and I have my alignment center and the align set to the center as well. So we'll say, okay. The next step is I need to duplicate this three times. So I'm just gonna select this option here, right click and come down to copy, simple paste, command B and drag, we'll set one here. And then we'll do that one more time. And we'll set one there. Okay, so I've got three different texts on the box you'll notice though this one's on the face this one's coming through the middle and this one is very much in the middle of that shape so let's finish this sketch so let's start with the easy one let's go to this cube very simple here shouldn't have any issues with this one we're just going to do a simple extrude grab the text and i can either choose to type it or i can adjust the way we're looking at this I want to unselect that and I can have it come out or um, have it go in. Very simple. So we're just going to cut that in on this one. And there you have it. That is in my cube. All right, let's jump over to the cylinder. Okay, so as we notice, this is kind of crammed in the center. So easiest way I've found, turn that off, select the text. And we're going to hit our extrude, turn this on. And if we notice here, if I bring this out to, let's say, 50, um, and we join, say OK, uh, it doesn't look very good. Like the D is sticking way out, the B is sticking way out. A lot of stuff is kind of acting funny on this particular sphere. So it's not the best way to do this. Uh, so we're just going to do a command Z, undo that here. And we'll select our text again. We're going to do our simple extrude, turn our body back on. But in this time, before I do it, I'm going to choose this profile plane, choose the object, and then select the cylinder. At this point, when I start to pull this out, 5 millimeters or 10 millimeters, it is going to be on the sphere, and it's coming out equally across all. Or, again, if I want to cut it out, it's going to cut it out evenly all the way through. Uh, in this case, I think we'll just pull this out to five and say, okay. So we've got the two easy ones done. Uh, let's, let's look at this next option. So two options that we have. Our first option is to just do a simple extrude here, pull this out and you'll see, hey, that actually, uh, that, that didn't, didn't really work. We got part of an, an A, a three and a D cutting all the way through it, not really what we're looking for. Um, let's undo that. And if we do the opposite where we extrude and then we change this to the object, select here, and then try to do this, you'll notice again, we're getting some warnings, stuff's not quite working. The B is not working at all. And so we're running into some other issues. So there is one way I've found to make this work and that is to move this text so that it is coming from one side of the object completely. So in this case, it would be taking this text here and moving it all the way back here so that it has to come all the way through or so that it's all on the other side of the object. Um, like in this case for the cylinder, it's in the middle of the cylinder, it's gonna come all the way through. I need to make it to where this is all on one side of the object. So I'm going to very quickly just move this. So we're turning off our 
object or a body there, I'm going to click and drag over this whole section, right click, move, and I'm going to change my view. And at this point I can turn my body back on and I wanna make sure we're somewhere in here. We're just on the other side of that. I could also bring it to here and it would be just fine, but I prefer the backside for this just mentally for my sake. So we'll say, okay. The next option is to basically repeat what we did with the with our cylinder here. Select this. Um, we are going to then profile plane, object, select the object. And then when we pull this through, you'll notice that everything comes through how it's supposed to. Or um, if I wanna do the opposite, I can do that as well. Um, if I want to, I guess, um, cut this out, I would need to pull my text to the other side and then go in and cut it out. So it kind of depends on what you want to do there. We'll say, okay, and we'll turn this sketch off. So we get a view of what these actually look like. So there is text on three different objects, three different ways. Hopefully you found this helpful. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are, or if you have another way that you like to do text, uh, please share and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.